of course. It's, it's Don't brazen. get too many reverse yeah. sweeps in best of fives. But uh, let's see. He's back to the desk and he's been doing a phenomenal job with his bloody predictions. So we'll see if he can keep it up here. Five sets of armor <laughs> and a he's blocked, blocked Xbox it. smoke. Naphany, you cheeky little badger. He's going to get away from this one. <laughs> That's a satisfying start without the bullets even needing to be fired. Their Xbox smoke is completely nullified. Rushley is on all of the one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine, of course, going all the way. Don't forget zero. Well, where's the 10 key? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is a lot of utility left over from VP here to go for an execute late, but they need to staunch around and get this space. And who better to do so than Yakinda, who's been clinical towards these mid doors in previous oh, matches and even caught a shadow? He did, yeah. So he's all too aware, very gracefully mantles up Xbox to try and punish, and there it is. His headshot percentage is just absolutely insane. First frag found, Hobbit just shows a tiny centimeter of his dome. Yakinda knocks it off. Sanji, however, has been caught by the reaggress mid. They tuck in now, job done. Inters, you are in a, a lot of pain. If you can't find something early, like he's trying to keep them at arm's length there, the reason he's trying to show presence towards middle, He's hoping that's enough to ward them off B, but here comes trouble. Here comes an execute. He needs to get stuck in here. Yeah. Lurk smoke's a problem. Door smoke makes it even worse. They don't have any utility or a kit for this. They went five sets of Kevlar, so he has to win a fight. Yeah, and they know his window now. His options get severely limited. And his kicker gets that bomb down. Do they choose to contest? Not yet. They wait for the numbers. They've got Nafni working on a long rotation towards tunnels. There's They're all tucked in towards side as well, Alex. I, I don't know how you get back in here against these Glocks. It's, all these jewels favor the Glock now. Here they come. And already a flurry of frags in favor of VP. One from Tons, one from the Doors. Bomb's halfway tick. They gotta get a move on. Very passive. Just jiggling for the info. Shiro on one, and it's only the one. Lockdown, VP take the pistol, and that's after an early move from Nafany, early frag from Yakinda. Yeah, good stuff there from VP. Let's see if they can pick up where they left off on map number one. Yanko was talking about the shift of momentum throughout that series. Well, VP are the ones definitely running into map number two with it. Just three of them gathered by those bricks. They have this, this affinity for not giving you anything. Uh, that's that's unintentional, you know, when, like when they're holding that after plant, even though you're coming from tunnels, even though there's three on the site, he sees nothing. Sees nothing. Individual jiggles for info and more oh, than info coming for Shiro. It's, what is that? Quick flick. Think it might just be blind tag, unconfirmed damage. James does cop a bit of a scout shot and there's Running more. Yep, Shiro's tagging Keeping another one. This feels painful. This feels risky. They have to pull the plug. Get out of there. But look how much damage they've sustained already. Yakinda and Jane both very low. Anything on the board right now from Gambit will take them down with a bullet. Yeah, they did it on Vertigo. Saw how potent their second rounds can be. Both teams completely spent on utility here as well. It's just that one smoke oh, on Yakinda. Oh, they're not even looking. Not expecting the re-aggress. And with one bullet, Inters forces Yakinda down. Those how do you overcome this now? Yeah, well, those footsteps were baiting Jame into a peak, but Shiro just moves off that line, so now Jame has some space. Hobbits have taken even more. Oh, and they're not looking for this either. First up short now from Ooh. Long, and yeah, a sitting duck is Sanji. Three is the magic number. He hits two. And Shiro, ooh, not only the bomb, but a frag. This is all on Buster here. Sanji's too low to do anything. Buster has to pull them out of this hole, and with the bomb tucked in with 35 seconds left, they're really running out of Again, options. Again, we're going to give them nothing. Nafani is awaiting. Oh, it's surely just going to be a slight overextension, and there it is. Sanji should just try and save this if he can. There's no point going in on a one-on-four, giving away another AK, but they're going to want to try and pick up these guns. So if Sanji goes down after time, that is the nightmare scenario here. 13 HP. Stuck in a forward position. He's hearing some footsteps that's jumping over on the elevator boxes. Are they going to push on in or are they just going to let him hold on to this? Might be a bit of a walk. Shiro's having a look. But Sanji, if he doesn't rear his head, he'll get away with this. Shiro might start running now and doesn't get that galil. So we'll be holding on to the scout. Probably happy with that. Sanji with that AK. If he drops that for any of his teammates, he's only going to be operating with head armor and a Glock. So he'll need to get a gun from somebody too. But with the heroics we've been seeing from Sanji lately, wouldn't be too bad to keep in his hands. There's a shot from Shiro. That one sealed the deal. And this on to Buster, the high HP player, as soon as he's gone. That's another second round loss for VP. Sanji is keeping the AK. Everybody has Force Ball in around him. Deagles, Tech 9, Scout for Jame. And over towards B they go. So big part of VP's game plan is these B executes, these mid to Bs, punishing that side of the map early. 
Yeah, I mean, we saw the contrast when it was Astralis VP D2. Or even Spirit, excuse me. Just the way that they could walk into B. Astralis just gets smoked out. The contrast was visible now. Two CIS squads and great flash up the doors. They don't choose to push on it. Hobbit was set up for something there. Very hard for Sanji to get through Hobbit. That MAC-10 is perfect. And if Sanji goes down, how are they going to pick this one up? Oh, well, that question's been answered. Smoke gets dropped. They won't be looking towards mid doors anymore. And they know that's come from a close trajectory. So just seeing if they can get any damage done through the door. It's a very deep hole that Hobbit finds himself in there. And he... He's going to make his way back into CT spawn. So now he can play swing towards A. Buster with the lurk smoke. That's going to Ouch. keep the B players busy. That nade. Make his life a little bit more of a disaster. And he has the bomb right now. So all this posturing around middle and short that we're seeing VP do, it might all be setting themselves up just to hold the CTs honest, right? You don't want them to have one player mid, two players B. Keep them in that 2-3 split. They haven't been able to do so right now, so Sanji will need to find a kill before they can explode on this mid to B. They have the nades to do it. Two smokes for CT. Flash as well. All right, it's an explode B. There will be nothing, nothing for two of the A defenders to do. Hobbit's on, the try. one on CT and completely dry. Body shots. Sanji hunting for the trade. He can't even get that. Hobbit's making it so damn difficult for VP. They just can't even get into the site. They'll take whatever they can. They need to go down after time, uh, before time. If they go down after time, this is a nightmare. Kick is trying to throw his body at the line. James, just two seconds left on the clock. That could have got so much worse for VP. Gambit may have even wanted just to give them enough room there to, to almost hang themselves. So two to one now. Yeah, I mean, how does Hobbit... I understand the first, but to deal with Sanji, who's got his crosshair placed on him, the movement as he comes back out for this repeat, just jiggling, using that extra ability to... Have accuracy while moving. Axel, oh, very nice. nice shot. All right. Gambit 2. VP1. Full Glock Eco. Not a penny spent. Oh, this is going to be a slow one, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Oh, maybe, maybe not. not. Nafani has something to say. Ah, oh, that is an in-game leader's favorite type of kills. <laughs> you get to make the call. And Wait, hold up, Axel. You got to clear behind you, mate. Oh, wow. Sanji. Tucked in on blue box. That's caught him. Bit of an oversight there, Sanji's he taking space. Takes this jewel successfully. They can do damage. James even caught Nafani's aggression. Okay. Not a full Glock eco. Sanji with his off angle. Taking that jewel all the way down long. Just like that, Gambit have to pick this one and put it back together again. A bit of a Humpty Dumpty round. Inters is leaving B. It's 16 HP with Kicker and Sanji combined. James is the only one with health, and it looks like all he's trying to do is get that bomb down. But now that he goes through lower dark, I'm getting more confused. So they're regrouping mid. There's plenty of time for this type of a play, but James is showing himself forward with that bomb. If he gets spotted, it will show up on the radar. Made his way up short. Inters, he spotted one. Oh, the double. Oh, oh. Doesn't get easier than that. Quick spray. Oh, oh but he wasn't looking. Oh. The chance presents itself. That could have been a frag, could have been a plant. Could have could been have a been lot a more win. than that. Yeah, jeez. Okay. The Glock eco we saw Oof. yesterday, uh, that was liquid against Yeah, that's VP. right. VP obviously watched that demo back, trying to do their best cosplay. Yeah, actually, I'm not quite sure. We didn't see how that happened at long, but the fact he didn't clear his corners there, that almost unraveled, especially with that second kill towards top of sight. So keeping it very, very honest here, VP, on a Glock eco. Now the guns will come out. Orpers, both sides, James and Shiro, got their weapons of choice. And it looks like a long explode. Kick it out. Yeah, and Shiro flashed off, fires off his shot, but space is taken. Well, let's force them straight back into the site. And the only other option for the CTs is to take short control. If you can't have long, you need short. And they're on their way to clear that off now. And guess who's waiting for any aggression? Of course, it's James tucked in towards the green box, top mid. Interesting. Bo boatload of smokes here. Now, if you are VP, you kind of want to double pump this. Limp out a, a few smokes to just bait them into nades and force them to start throwing their utility, like this. Lots of time on the clock. There's no rush. Now, Gambit are staying stoic. They're actually using Ooh. their flashes to make sure that they don't have to throw out their utility. And now they're being pressured. You can see the hesitance from Shiro to drop his incendiary. Now seems to be the cue. They're corralling them here. They want them on this A ramp to dump all these nades. They've only got one for the cross now, though, Chad. Might have to get a move on. Time's an issue. Advancing a slow creep towards the side. Yakinda's managed to get himself across. The flashes are good. Hobbit uses the smoke to survive, and Shiro from short 
It's Sanji with a crucial trade. Keeps VP's chances posting a second here. He wants to get that bomb down, but needs to clear off towards short. Oh my lord, he nearly won it. Nearly peeked into the AWP. He'd have to do a whole lot more than that. They'll boost to stop and deny this plan. I think he's got it. Yep, they faffed around a little too long and kick it. Now set up for a spray. He gets two towards the elevator with this kind of health though. The odds stacked up against Sanji. Looking for a punish and a precise Hero's one. Low. So low from the earlier exchange against none other than God Sanji. Two clutches? Oh, Too much to ask. Shiro denies it. He thought the walk up didn't quite have the pacing in his head. Valiant attempt from Sanji. Gambit steal away a fourth. Yeah, that comes down to the tightest of margins right there. Good round from VP, all things considered. They were corralled to one area on the map. They made it work. Gambit didn't throw out too much utility. And look at that. Sharp as you like. I know they're both low, but one bullet straight to the dome. Body hits the deck. Diffuse comes through. Now, in the VP camp, there's probably a lot to discuss. That cash money is hovering around that 4K mark, 3.8, 3.7. That's not enough to go for a full buy, but it is enough to get kick at an AK and some pistols around it. Got the spawn. Knife out. Pressure on the economy here. Hobbit to contest. He's actually eating the flash. Smoked off and... Oh, he's okay, rinse and repeat. He's thinking about going through here. If they can apply pressure while Gambit is stuck just rotating around, then that's going to be great. But Shiro's taking space back towards mid. <laughs> Dangerous throwing that smoke these days. Exile knows what's coming. He can hear the footsteps. Stampeding towards his location. They're all down there. Oh. What a flick from Shiro. He had a moment's notice to adjust. Awkward as hell. Bombs loose. James hanging out in the tunnels. Inters wants to find and clear that out. But the element of surprise strikes. And now an M4. They got the bomb back as well. So they can plant A safely. Gambit, they're stuck in no They have plant. to fight James. They just have to simply put beat Jame, and they have, but at what cost? A two on two now with these deagles. VP have been so close to converting a couple of these. That's a gamble, but he gets across. Enables not only that, but a smoke and an AK. Quite the upgrade, Yakinda. Speaking of upgrades, VP's most recent has found the final deagle shot to deter Shiro. Yeah. That is enough. That Returning to a, long, Chad. Yeah, that was just that partial investment, right? So uh, interesting stuff right there. And yeah, I, I'm with you. They returned to long after getting denied. I think they realized they can get space. So right now it looks like Gambit. They're a little bit scared if the flashes come over that corner smoke. They don't want to contest that. They think they have setups to deal with it. Well, they did, but that flurry of kills or that flurry of movement as they came up short very fast, the smoke, the flash over the wall, it was just that space. And you saw VP didn't continue to run into the, the blender of A. They kind of hit pause again. Jame gets two kills. He's instrumental in this round. Yeah. I, I'd love to have known how Shiro gets that kill onto Kickit as well, because Kickit looked like he was there ready to absolutely rinse them from behind. Wasn't necessary in the end. And four to two in money for Gambit. Well, and that was, I mean, a crucial frag. Kickit was about to unload his full clip into the three of you back turned. They just invested like very late out of spawn there, Gambit. That buy was happening as freeze time ended. So they've gone all in on this one. They don't want to tussle right here for this. Ooh, and already Sanji gets out. The problem solving of the CT side, an aggressive maneuver early, and it's a gamble. The fact that Intis has not had any resistance. Oh, they're ready to pincer on mid. Two from tunnels, two from short, one close mid doors. Yeah, it feels like this is five players hunting down your kinder. And I don't know if he's going to be able to find anything, especially with the element of surprise here. He does tuck oh, in. They know no info. They know where he is now, and he backs straight up into Inters. With their powers combined, they find the first. Don't forget, this is a full investment. This is Gambit saying, no, you do not have control. Gambit have good no nades to slow this again, right? They picked up that weapon. There's lots of nades on the floor as well. Oh. Okay. Straight through the smoke kicker was tapping. Looking for info, he gets more than info, knocks their head off. They don't boost either. Opting for a further back, a different angle of attack. And it's not far off from Shiro. They're into the site now, though, and the bomb will be planted. Bomb has been Sanji hiding behind the car. It's Buster, the first up. That's the trade. Sanji consistent. This flank's coming very late through long. Inter is going to have a chance to take down Jamie. He's so distracted by Shiro's shots. Turned. Yeah, and already Axile's got one. Jamie's got ready for this. It's oh, going to come down to it. one man. Just kick it. 
just like that. Shira's got the kit, he's close. And they've done it. Gambit retake control. They'll even grab an extra orb for their troubles. Oh dear, the fact that they're not willing to give up on this. What a round right there. Woof. Walking away, three kills to his name. And you could see you were right. It did feel like that whole focus was just, let's stop your kinder, let's stop this mid control. He's heard the pin get pulled. That's why Nafani started spamming. He has to go back into inters. That looks picture perfect. And even with this, Kicker gets so lucky with that type of a kill right there. They still pull this one off. So investing behind that guardian angel of Shiro with the AWP, he's not even the one to find all the impact. He wasn't even the scary factor in that round. Yeah, and we, we had a great breakdown on the desk actually from uh, Gambit's Inferno game in the semis, where you just saw the, the power of those late flanks. You know, we've seen it from Kicker on VP. We've seen it from Nafani, uh, most notably in Yanko's example, where when Counter-Strike is played at this level, I think his statement was, is when Counter-Strike is being played at this level, it's those timings. Being, you know, pulling out your knife with conviction and being behind them on short when they're you know, there is a couple of seconds determining whether that bomb goes down or not. Awesome stuff. Gambit 5. Hunting a 6. Where the hell did Yakinda's health go? I think it was the Flames. Yeah, Hobbit's kind of stuck right now. Shiro's trying to bail him out with a couple of nades. That smoke is not great, but he's tucked into it. Hobbit. He's hearing all of this. Yakinda knows he can't hang around. Looks like a classic A split here from VP, but unless they get short control, these long players are going to have all the eyes on them. As this smoke fades, Hobbit might even be thrusted forward. Yeah, there's a world where Sanji can get him on the box peak. Holding from short, conceding long. A run boosted AWP and the hunt for Axile. He's just passively actually got the pin pulled on a smoke. He'll be reacting and dropping that. Still no access to short. Yukinda wants to change that. Oh, and he wins it out against the AWP, no less. His move is so graceful and his shots so pinpoint perfect. Sanji's caught the mid player. VP have caught themselves a third. Inters will do good to get away here. That doesn't seem too likely now. Look at him just, Look at the just, map. just toying with Sanji. Yeah, they're collapsing in all around him. Where are you going to go, mate? Uh, Please? He's I just want to leave. Trying to escape the wrath of Buster. There it is. Okay, so just the one casualty, but that's after the round. Bomb go does go down on A again. So some, for a team that we said have a bit of a, a tendency to lean B, we haven't seen an awful lot of that. Yeah, then they're obviously focusing more through long. Oh. We can know these cat executes they have as well, where they procedurally take different chunks of that A bomb site and split it out and fight as a unit. They have very good flashes for that, but they are changing up their tact a little bit, and that's putting a lot more pressure uh, on their long or their A hold because they're not able to establish long control. But Gambit still don't want to give up, right? Because of this loss bonus situation, the back and forth, nature they've been left with a low loss bonus and they've had to force buy in can they pull it off again this time no awp for shiro oh Hobbit Hobbit. Get a chance yeah completely caught in transition he couldn't decide what he wanted to do with that committed to the smoke will they respect it Four man stack B as well, so this is perfect for VP. They can get straight on in, plant that bomb. And if you gambit, you just want to hold on to these upgraded pistols, right? Let's just take a look at the loss bonus. Next round's 1900, so it will be hold on to everything you have. VP also know they're up against this lower version of the buy, so you don't want to give over any AK 47s. Let them have those pistols, let them have the scout, they'll have another crack at it that might then maybe gamble stack towards B again. But maybe that is why they were gambling towards B, Alex, is what we've seen so far in the tournament has been the affinity to go for the mid to Bs, the B splits, uh, put a lot of pressure through tunnels with the new skylight smokes that we've seen with the reverse doors. Clawing this one back. Gambit have had really good starts to halves, it feels like, and then VP, once they get control, able to run away with these gun rounds. Five to four, bomb about to explode. Hobbit's going to be operating with very little here, maybe a P250. Everybody will be staying alive on VP. Uh, for those that, by the way, haven't been keeping their finger on the pulse of all of the the nuggets of knowledge coming into this final, one that I do think is interesting to keep our fingers on the pulse of is Shiro versus Simple in clutch records. The record is held currently, all-time record from Simple. He got 19 1vx situations in 22 maps. Shiro currently stands at Kanavita 21 with, I believe now, actually after the first map, 18 or on Dust 2. 18 in 13 maps. Okay. Oh, he's trying to speed run it. Fair enough. Breaking records. Why not? Oh. 
Beef here about to break the back of Long, uh -oh. kick it out again. Yeah, and it's Axile given the responsibility, but with a scout, surely you're just gonna have to hope and pray that this is all smoke and mirrors. He's very lucky there's no cap pressure right now. This sets him up to get a couple of tags if they're lackadaisical about the way that they pick out of Long. But VP, we know how thorough they are. We've watched them time and time again against these low buys or eco rounds when we can see quite clearly with the radar, they're on the other side of the map and they still go through all of their paces. You see the mollies, you see the flashes, they'll bait out extra aggression. And Gambit are actually rotating over. Starting to make their way as Hobbit at least. Axar will need some help at some point. Maybe they throw Hobbit on the line here just, just to see what's out there. Throw him out as a bit of bait. Might be too late. Wow. Here they come. Couldn't be worse for Gambit to receive. Into oh. the site, doing their due diligence. Melted. Utility, more to come. <laughs> you will not fight us. We will plant the bomb for free, and we'll even tuck back into some fantastic post-plant positions. So these are the rounds as a Counter-Strike player, you really you can breathe. You know, you yeah. can just have, have a breath. You just play in the game. Your heart rate doesn't have to accelerate. Exits is what's on the agenda right here. You can see tucking in through T-Spawn, seeing if there's maybe an extra gun or two that have been purchased on. Now, the reason that it's fine for them to hold on to this, and you're like, well, okay, why aren't they getting a little bit more aggressive? Why aren't they putting their bodies on the line? This is two rounds in a row they've done this. Well, check out what's purchased. They have Kevlar. If they hold on to that, they won't need to reinvest into the next round. That's going to save their investment. And with the 2400 coming through the door, frees them up for a bit more utility, frees them up to get those big guns out. Yeah, and there's three of them as well that haven't taken a point of damage, so... That upgrade that Chad's referring to is actually going to make a world of difference into the rifle and utility package. You can see doing the double smoke, getting across, very little to be concerned about when it's only a USP putting bullets down range. And I think at that point, you know, and so did VP, that this was theirs. Five to five. <laughs> it's going the same way of Vertigo, which at times really did look like it was in Gambit's hand. How are they going to deal with this with no AWP on Shiro? It's not like he's had a huge amount of impact with the AWP thus far, but it means that the CT side defense will need to look a little bit different. Very fast. Look at this. Straight out oh. the mid doors. Look at all the space. He's going forward. forward. He wants more. And he's actually found Hobbit. There is an important trade from Shiro. We do return to a four on four. Can't rotate anywhere. Not with Jame here. Yeah, and Buster's even trying his own little adventures towards the Slurk Smoke. How far do you want to push this? Looks like all the way. Oh, shots. That's heard. Yeah, very, very unlikely for Buster to dig himself out of trouble now. Good work from Inters. Nafli didn't choose to fire a single bullet or make a single sound. So 1B is the call. Currently a 2-2 split. Nades are still pretty good for VP, right? They have smokes to work with. And if they want to go for this B split or an A attack, either is going to work because the 2-2 setup that VP have held Gambit to means they cannot rotate anywhere. James Orp is a problem. Any jiggle, anything, he's going to be on top of that. And sound cues from Sanji will be heard. So they know at least he's towards upper tunnels. Meanwhile, Kicker is working short and Jame is just staying put, regrouping now towards the tunnels. Interested if he scopes in, starts his walk. He's got a smoke for doors. We've been seeing him throw down on a lot of the takes. Look at Naf and his nades though, Alex. He still has a molly for this. Yeah. Uh, they're reconsidering it immediately, so... 20 seconds. Kick it. If he gets the timing, Kick it. Shiro exposed. And Shiro passes his test. That he should be enough. James swallowed a nade. You got 10 seconds. Just throw your bodies at the site. Hope you don't go out down after time. Yeah, knife out. Okay, so VP did run out of time after that one. Ran out of steam. Shiro with three. Orp recovered. And that is a big note, actually, Chad. That's in capitals. Orp recovered. Considering how fragile Gambit's uh, CT economy has been, they've saved three players minimum four on the high end over the course of these three vp rounds just that sound through the smoke was enough right so inters tags him up nafany can call that that hit and then he's able to reposition that crosshair to hit that dome so vp not getting away with their old tricks right here might go back to more of the a lean standard default again you can do very very noisy through lower tunnels that never look worried for any of these fights on short and Jane with that AWP, what the combo to be taking your mid and short control. These two very sharp objects making their way straight out mid doors with a minute 30 left on the clock. The rotator, which is Hobbit, is under so much pressure. He's died 10 times. He's not getting an easy way of this whatsoever. And now you can just tuck on in close. He can listen and spring that trap late. 
And we haven't seen one of these VP standard short executes just yet. Now, when we talk about this, if we see it come out, you'll see the standard smokes. They even have an extra one they dribble down just in front of the site to deny AWP of vision. And the flashes are used regimentally, right? They'll throw them out, they'll focus site, they'll focus goose, then they'll focus ramp. It's not just run on in and hope you win the fights. They have a very good idea of how they want to approach this VP. Smoke's being thrown out. That might draw the rotation or open the gap for Yukinda to take some space. The passive setup on B gives Yukinda a lot of room to work with, and that smoke has just bought another bit of time. So slow as you like in this one. 40 seconds left and full kits yeah, and nades. This is it's a very passive setup from Gambit. I'm interested to know if VP can rock it at all. It's going to be vigilant. Utils thrown out. The Avangar smokes, if you will. And yeah, Yakinda's been caught out on his mid to B. If Hobbit goes down, though, it is exposed. Nafani and Inters to a very isolated two versus four. And Jame entry fragging. Now Inters. They spot him with the barrel. They convert it with the buster. And we have a sixth, just like that. VP, I mean, the fact that, Chad, we weren't saying with conviction a letter of the alphabet. A, yeah. B, we weren't no sure. Idea. Neither did Gambit. Isolating those jewels, game with Jame, excuse me, with a fantastic pair. That's the thing, right? Hobbit is really being bullied on these rotations. And it's so difficult to deal with that as a player who you go set up your teammates at long, you throw the flashes, you put them in good positions, and then your job is more to babysit the mid to B. It's not to be the player getting all the kills. You're in swing. You're meant to be there to plug up the gap so that your mid to B holder has some support and doesn't feel completely marooned. Well, Hobbit is the one being isolated right now. And the only way to change this is probably bringing out a double AWP setup. If you can get the double AWPs out, you can either post one up towards back of B, have Shiro maybe B, a bit more mobile, have some rifles closer short, closer mid, because VP are taking so much space right now that you need to be able to deny this. Hobbit did a great job to even get one. You can see the whole point of that strat. Hey, we're going to throw all these nades. We're going to make it look like an A execute. That swing player has to help A. Hobbit was ready. Right? He was ready for the mid to B, so yep. he wasn't even fooled, but still isolated. So Gambit now with the scoreline 6-6 six to six on one of their weaker maps is... Uh, look, they're doing all right. They're keeping their head above water, and they've gone for another one of these buys here with the saved guns that... Could be deadly, right? The Deagle on Hobbit, there's no reason he can't hit a bit of a banger. They're missing the, the boosts to start off with, so working out how they want to run with this one. Yeah, have to see a, a Shiro moment. Oh, okay. That's a T-smoke there that's denied that, and they've just negated an aggressive move with a simple smoke. Good stuff from VP. Straight up smoke short, knowing they want to try and find some impact with the saved rifles. And it's, here he is. Uh, your kinder. Surely gets checked. Oh my lord. And He's not looking, is at, not all. looking He's not at, at all. all. Oh! Oh, and he gets them both. How? First kicker, your kinder on the reactions, but got to get up pretty damn early in the morning to wake up and stop Inters. Sanji caught as well through the doors. The tracer's fire was enough. Buster. He's done it before. Can he do it again? Breaking into the site. AK to be knocked off his perch is Inters. And Naphany on site. They've done well to isolate these jewels. If oh. he can get away, no, Inters does well to take him down. Bomb retrieval integral. Sanji does tag one up on the advance towards tunnels. Shiro close to contest. Oh, this is a tough puzzle to piece together here for the remaining T's. This is the fight, though. If Axil takes down Sanji, then Buster is locked. Yeah. This. About 10 seconds. They're going to have a chance. Oh. Timing on the walk-in. Sanji does manage to win his duel despite his low HP. He catches Axile off guard, but now, same can't be said. You'd have to one-tap or save an orb. That works too. Yeah, the fact he's been able to grab that one right under their noses here. It is still the round for Gam, but they have pulled another one away just with the saved gun, some upgraded pistols, and some heroics from Inters. How does he get two kills there, right? Yakinda was out mid-doors super early yet again. He was not expecting them to be coming in, taking all this space. Check this. This is a reaction. Oh, mate. Makes it look so easy. Dink into the body. Two shots, you're out. It felt good as well. And you can see what Buster's hoping for here. With him going for the plant, he's hoping that Dark player gets drawn into Sanji. Sanji gets the kill. He can come through. He can help out Buster. Now they have a two-on-two -two with players outside the site. But well handled. And Gambit, they're up to seven there. In the lead right here. One more and they'll definitely get the half. One-way smoke. They've mollied in front of it. Kick it won't be able to step on out into that. So long has been denied. Gambit won't have to worry about getting pushed and forced out. And look what they're doing. Going for these B hits. We've been speaking about them all game long. Finally, VP are going to go for one of these 
Sand of plays, and that conditioning with the Lurk Smoke from Buster just looks like a normal round. Yeah, so far. Now with a bit more util thrown his way, he's actually forced to smoke onto their Molotov. Naf and he actually converts Yakinda's hunt and Inters, he's having another round. Doesn't matter whether it's P250 or M4, he's just caught two on his repeak. That is pro, he's got no way in now. Kickert's caught on doors, Hobbit goes looking. And we know what time it is. 60 seconds oh, he's and he's pushed down, oh, Naf and he denies it all. Well, they're going to go for that double op setup very late here. And that's probably a good call because VP, they didn't start going for more of those plays towards Cat, right? They didn't keep going through that avenue. They've gone for more mid-heavy stuff. Here they've gone back towards B, which has been a bit of crutcher there throughout this tournament. And now you're probably expecting VP to go for one or two things. They've had a lot of success through long, and they've had a bit of success when they've gone for those later mid to B splits, controlling those rotations, isolating Hobbit. Well, the double orb, that might be the change up they need. Is Kicker going to get a gun here? There we go, he's only got a Deagle. So this buy, Alex, last round is not looking good. Sanji, the entry fragger. Axile stomachs it. Hobbit was flashed in and oh, so perfect. Hobbit nearly transfers. Okay, Yakinda keeps it competitive and he'll recover an 8K for his hard work. You can see there's corpses littering for either side here on long and that double orb you talked about, Chad, does get awkward in this mid round if there is a little loose end. Jame is at T-Spawn, he doesn't He's walking in T-spawn with a minute 19 on the clock. That just tells you how scared he is for any form of aggression right here. Backing out? Or just aiding James Cross? Okay. Like ships in the night right there. And back towards long they go, so... Look at this. <laughs> Look at this, taking it in turns. <laughs> Okay, they've got their plan. It's clear that those with nades have been given the responsibility to take long and nades are thrown out. Inters two incredibly impactful rounds back to back. Only smokes to work with. Facing the ninth for Gambit. VP to close this gap. Cross smokes land. Into spray, does two. Kick it hasn't gone down, but that sound. And well aware, want to slip the net, and looks like Shiro's missed shot has given Yakinda's perfect time to strike from short. Eight seconds left as VP have pulled this one out. Oh, Inters, Inters not again. Not done yet. More impact required. He needs the head, finds the head. One more, and it's the most prized of them all, Yakinda. He's got three already. Will he get the fourth? He's tagged up so low. USP now, he knows one bullet will oh. do it. And Inters, three back-to-back -back impact rounds, pulls Gambit into an extended lead. So much impact from him. The young worm their way into T-side pistol rounds. Yeah, I want to level that playing field against these long-range USPs, five of which VP hold, kick it on a little bit of utility, and James has even taken space. But I think Hobbit has caught that one long, granted immediately out. And Inters leading the way, the hero of the first half. How much more can he do? Oh, he's trapped. Calls for the bailout. Has he got time for this? I think he just about gets there in time. So James set up for success. Sanji to delay as best he can. Here's Axile is across. Oh, oh good from that short. One. Yeah, all the way from short. You can just hit a good shot, but no permanent deaths yet. James been very sneaky Playing here. retake here? Yeah, no kit. Oh, Hobbit. Nice catch. Yakinda was trying to work on the round the world maneuver. Now they have to focus all of their attention. The element of surprise. It's not clean from Jame. Inters continues to impress as he finds his 20th and another as well. Nothing left for VP in this pistol. Bloodshed, tears. It's 10 for Gambit. Yeah, Inter's impact is reflected in the scoreboard, right? So those last three rounds of the first half, he went absolutely mental. And now here on the pistol with even more. So he is having a map. Not uh, necessarily one of the star players of Gambit, but he's showing up right here, right now, and he is head and shoulders above the rest of the server. 11 kills between him and the next closest. Shiro, Nafani, Sanji, Jame, all with 10 apiece. 21 for Inters. Axial relatively quiet here on Dust 2, and the same can be said for Yakinda. Will be a full eco coming out from VP. No force by They don't want to struggle for this economy control. And if Gambit convert this, just the way they get off, Nafni's very lucky to be alive here. Lots of bodies around. So many. You can just 
cool. Just the uh, one. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> For a second there, it looked like the CT aggressions were winning against Mac 10s. It's stabilized. Thank you, Nafani. Yeah, and just talking about these starts of halves, right? Now, on this map, they did lose uh, the, the opening pistol round, but then they went and win the force buy, and then they had four on the trot. And then when you look at this half, they were able to grab this pistol round and then convert the second. So they've set themselves up very good, 11 to 6. And this gun round right now from VP, it makes a lot of sense that they're calling a timeout here. And the reason that is is because when you go for this third round buy with the new economy, it's not new anymore, but you have enough for rifles, you have to have the trade-off, do we want utility? Because you're not going to have Molotov, Smoke, Flash, Nade, and Diffuse Kit. That's just not going to happen. Happen, right and they're aware that they're up against a bonus situation so as buster gives us a little bit of a yawn there i'm sure he's more than excited about this one don't you worry about that we can look through their buys you've got four ak uh, four m4s right with smokes on their side there's a molotov for sanji he's opted not to go for the head armor where the rest have because they know that they're going up against potential smgs not a diffuse kit in play whatsoever. And what this means is it's not about where the utility can be thrown. It's where the bodies need to go. So what type of a play are we going to go for? How are we going to find ourselves an opening? You need to be a little bit more, more proactive on the CT side with buys like this. James right. has that you all. You get executed so. on, you really, there's, there's nothing pointing towards going for it. Yeah. So they need to be a little bit more proactive in this one. And a four-man alien is a good place to start. All the pressure on James over towards B. Whatever utility VP did have has just been dumped to get long control. So they put all their eggs in this basket. Nobody's out. They've got control of this, and now they need to get the bodies back somewhere else. But look at Nafani. What's he up to? He's Through out the mid. Smoke. No eyes on it currently. Hop it very loud on this one. And oh. Yakinda goes down. Big first frag found from the most experienced and the only major champion in the Gambit Esports roster. Well, this gets even more awkward now. Not only did you have limited util, now limited players. VP have to overcome the Gambit T side with just four. If they go into A because of that opening kill, they might get a bit of a rude surprise, right? We still have two players mounted up towards, of course, the Caster Curse. They just dropped on down. But there are three players still over towards the A side of the map. Hunkering down long is Buster and Jame. He's having to take a risk in some space. Hobbit's low and Hobbit's down. Interesting. What does that do to Nafani? Mid to A? Something Mid through. to A? They're boosting. The element of surprise. I'm not sure anyone's going to be expecting this. I say that as Sanji is. Considered it for Nafani's a second. Through. Nafani is through. Oh, Pick a two. Could be the double. And it could very well be just the Mac 10 though. Surely he just... Oh, really Nafani. Won. Nafani with impact all over. What's James to do now? The glass cannon orb was responsible for B. He's been a completely nullified object at this point. He's locked in as well. Look at this. One player already wants spawn. That's Axial. Jane, you got to be careful, oh, mate. Oh, they want to stop this. They don't want to stop that save. They know how much impact a single AWP, especially for VP, and it's clean and easy. They'll take that. So, bringing it all through. Gambit starting to accrue enough points to start the engines of a 1-1 split. Oof, this from Nafani is so ballsy, right? This in-game leader, he takes so much space and not always profiting with the kills, but it's more what he is still allowing the rest of his team to do. So here with some impact, they justify holding on to those lower weapons, that Scout, the MAC-10, everything is found at work, and they've even upgraded into that AWP. All right, Shiro through the door. They didn't even get a chance to cross, mate. Give him a break. Yeah, we saw Simple throw one in a similar line as well. It seems like the new adaption is wallbanging those that are waiting to cross on the smoke. Kick it, gone. 15 deaths as well. He's had a very quiet time here on Dust2, and this is clearly far, far away from the Dusty they imagined when this was the first pick of the best of five. Well, if this keeps going in this direction, we're guaranteed four maps. Train up next. All right, so short control gathered a lean heavy lean towards b so it is only your kinder and he's lost his jaw just on that repeat he, he knew nafani was well aware that your kinder didn't have many options in terms of retreat just stand and try to deliver and deliver gambit will not taking their chances good to see the smokes and the molotovs all landing to do their due diligence this will be four in a row right here for gambit in the second half and that's the max loss bonus coming into the bank balance of vp for the next they might want to go for a couple of exits here just to close out this round. No point in holding on to these deagles. You don't have Kevlar behind it. Sure, having a better sidearm was cool, but all in all, it will be the rifles that we'll be looking towards next round. 
So everybody from Gambit looks like they will be surviving. VP aren't even having a look in whatsoever. Just staying tucked in towards B. Nobody's moving. Statues, three of them. And that's round number 19 in the bag. This is very good stuff from Gambit. The fact that they had a close game on Vertigo, they could have really got in their own heads. This is a grand final. These guys... Had picked it. Yeah, and they're lucky that, obviously, this is against an opponent they're familiar with. Otherwise, capitulation could have been on the cards. But this is something that they're well and truly back into. 13-6. to six. And here's that opening shot from Shiro. Bang. Just frustration. For the likes of kick it there. What am I meant to do, mate? I'm already on an eco. Give me a break. As the buy will come out. Jame onto the AWP. Org for kick it. Still not a single defuse kit purchased on up here. Keep that in mind if we get into post plants. We are running out of rounds to work with. Gambit only three away now. But if we get another one of those Sanji clutch rounds, maybe that's the momentum shifter right there. Back towards Long, Shiro's leading the charge with the pick. Nobody home to receive him. How long is Jame going to stay on this, this stack is a good, Yeah, it's a good question. There's usually a flash for this position, right? And then the AWP would peek out on the flash, but James just standing tall. Hobbit seems positioned in a way he knows it's a vulnerability. He might jiggle it. And he does. Baits the shot. Nade finds no success, and Hobbit has successfully dismantled the first setup from VP. It's an important hurdle to cross, and we've Second seen the boost. Yeah, look yep. at this. Now, crosshair placement. This one. Yeah, if your crosshair placement's good enough for this duel, I will be happy to be proven wrong. Oh, he's stepping into it late, so. He's not 100% certain if people haven't crossed. Well, your Kinder is. He's taking back that space. And James in rotation. It looks like they're setting up for a B split. Yeah. And the CTs seem to have worked it out. Util starts to fall. James drops Naphany. Aggressive just on the edge of that smoke. Just when he needed to arrive for the mid to B split. Makes things difficult. So yeah, does your Kinder. down. B's open. Wide open. Thanks to Axile. Can't contest the smoke. James looking to elevate someone up or get the boost himself, hoping to find one as they reposition onto the platform. This is a Hail Mary maneuver. This has a good idea. And Look at the wall bang. Idea. Yeah, he's completely deterred them from that. I have to say, like I said, there was no kit for the post plan. You'd be throwing your bodies into a brick wall if you tried. That's Axial. That's all Axial. Like, the, the mid to B got stopped. There was no mid to B. There was only one prong on that attack, and it was Axial coming in through those tunnels, taking out both Kicket and Buster. So as soon as they fall, the bomb goes down, the pressure applied. VP locked out. They need to hold on to these guns. Max lost bonus, sure. They will be able to drop and have another competitive round going forward, but it doesn't matter. 14 to 6 right now. Gambit are looking good to convert. They might even get this one. Inters gives it a shot. Bomb goes off. Sanji lucky to survive. Wants to grab an AK if he can. See it from Axile's POV. Comes up just as the action's occurring middle and neither of them ready for that duel. Yeah, they were very glued to mid doors there, weren't they? So many bodies thrown at that. Your Kinder, Jane pushing through the smoke, both kick it and Buster, we could see were they are looking absolutely flawless. Let's get this one underway. Shiro through the door again, gives it a crack, worth the shot. Yeah, and one of the my least favorite parts of Dust 2 when I've got the mouse and keyboard in my hands myself, crossing those doors, so punishing. Forcing out Util. Once a couple of successful shots have been hit. Okay, Yukinda's got a very nice off angle for anyone that fancies their chances middle now. Yeah, he loves that box, doesn't he? Just up and over. The mid to B smokes that come through as well, he can play forward of them. This one's actually paused Have out the here. confidence. To just stand there with your knife out talking. Yeah. What the hell? Like, <laughs> don't see hello? that. Don't see that every day. It's like they're just having a full mother's meeting, talking it through. This A setup is quite weird right now that we see from VP. Nobody towards long. Sanji's the same, just having a chat. Okay, so they're probably gonna. Yeah, in 30 this seconds. is very odd. <laughs> All right. It's like they know what strat they're doing already. How is there no eyes on long? Okay, they're walking in though. James gonna have to do a lot of work here. Sanji trying to bait them to look at him and he's done the first part. He's gonna have to do the rest as well. Great Molotov to buy time. Yukinda's burning though. Have to find a new elevation. Long's coming too. Sanji's Sanji, screwed. Yeah, safe corner, but for how long? Shira already onto Yukinda to finish off the jobs of the Flames and Gambit set for 15 just like that. What an odd round that was.
I, I, I'm flabbergasted. I, I'm not quite sure how they have nobody watching. I'm not sure what tell there is. That must be the, the domestic rivalry between the two, right? The fact they played each other a lot in the past. There must be something going on there. That was peculiar. Well, now that is the 15th and come and knocking. Ah, oh, Gambit, this is a quick second map. I thought we were going to have the 16-14s, overtime games, all the rounds throughout here, but they've made short work of Dust too. VP have looked so threatening on this map throughout the tournament. I think they've only lost it twice in recent history. If you go back in the last three months, they've won at a bucket load. And they'll just hold on to these two rifles. So Buster and Kicket, they're the ones who went down towards B in the previous. This time they'll get to hold on to their guns. And it was so strange. Nafni was so far forward. Look how far forward Nafni is. And, and Hobbit and the rest of the team are still just coming up late. And, and they make a round like this work. So great stuff. Still a bit perplexed on how it all transpired. But regardless, 15 to 6. Rifles back out. VP's last chance here on Dust 2. Now, we will be moving into train as the next map, the third map. And this has extended the series to at least four. Oh, oh he's tag. caught him. Just pre-aiming the jump across. Intuition strikes, and so does that. Oh, Pnafany charging through the flames. He gets away. Yakinda claws one back. They know there's more damage and more players are waiting on the other side of that smoke. Jame sets to work in middle. No armor on him. Vulnerable to those wall bangs if info is gained. They know your kinder's tricks, don't they? Hanging around the smoke, just putting some lead through. Smoke will clear now, and he has to drop back to a more passive configuration. But Jame, he could stifle this completely. Lots of conversation there from Inters, letting him know how much space he's working with. They're going back. Inters will hear the jump for info. He's heard the scope as well. Slip the net. <gasps> and Jame does not hit the shot, Inters. Gives them the man advantage, looking to finish this right here, right now. Map two of the grand finals could be a thrashing. Just need to post the one. Up short now. VP's dastardly dust two getting completely shaken. And your kinder peeks out, it's damage. It's insufficient. They're both coming in from CT and B respectively, so disconnected. Just gotta follow the flow chart now for the after plan. Sanji does. Take down Nafani. Buster does have a kit. This is still doable. It looks extremely unlikely. Yeah, I mean, with the flashbang, Sanji wants one more before he does any more dirty work, and that's the head he was waiting for. Pops it off of Inters. The impact continues. Buster. Oh, they may not expect Look at this. this angle from Hobbit. The angle on the gather the smoke and makes it all too easy. Gambit really do convince many with a performance like that against Virtus Pro. Masters of Dust 2, their pick no less. Gambit equalize our grand finals.